object test node is one of the most important nodes within the nodeworks. It can perform various tests based on input position and an object or particle shape and provide us with valuable information on the output pins. In the case that particle pin is connected, this node will use particle position to perform test. Thanks to this node we can find closest position on the surface, pass material color to particles and fume effect smoke detect obstacles, check if particles inside object and so much more. I have prepared three easy to comprehend examples that will explain how this node works and give you an idea how it can be used in your scenes. So for this scene we have one particle that moves across X coordinate in the scene and we have particles that are generated on this plane here. We'll use those particles as well as well as this test sphere shape. So for the object test you can connect particle to the particle pin on the object test but you could also connect position to the input. So for now we're going just to use a simple way just connect particle and for the input we're going to use this sphere. You can see right now that this particle moves towards and away from this sphere and since we set the maximum distance to 30 when the particle distance is more than 30 units away from the closest face its output will be false so it will tell the system that the heat was not found within specified parameters. This is great as it's interactive so you can move object around and see how this uh, system behaves. However, we can also use not just objects but particle shapes as input which can be connected here. Just show if on the right click we can choose between particle or the array. So it automatically switches depending on what's connected to the input. And now in this case we have this particle test against all the particle shapes in the scene that belong to the test spheres particle group and find the closest face of all the shapes in this system. On the output in this case we have shape particle which in this case will be particle that holds this particular shape so you can do all the other operations uh, after the object test node result. Just a quick, quick explanation display custom has connected position that object test finds and direction so this is the position on the surface that's closest to our particle and direction is a vector going from particle towards that point on the surface. Distance is the length of this vector. This direction is not normalized so its length is equal to this distance and we're using this V normal which is vertex normal on this position and used to set the particle shape orientation so this box is always oriented towards this point on the shape. In this example we have particles that move across the screen and they're going to be caught in one of those two boxes. This is the slow catcher box and this is the fast catcher box. So each object in the list has its index. Slow catcher index is 0, fast catcher index is 1, next one will be 2, 3, 4 and so on. As you can see here we have two speeds displayed first speed is in units per second and the second one is units per frame. On this interface you can notice that we have a speed in units per second but internally in NodeWorks the, the speed is in units per frame. Now if you want to use units per second you can use speed convert node and we can connect this as the second compare input and now we have 50 units per second and the slow catcher catches slow, slow particles. How is that done? So we compare the speed against the 50 units per second and if the speed is greater the result of this node will be 1 and this will be object index 1 and the rest of the particles will then have false result 
which means zero and the slow catcher index. So this compare operator determines for which particle which object will be used for testing if the particle is inside that particular object. So now we have separation between fast and slow particles by those two boxes. So you can see here that as soon as the particle enters this box it goes upwards and as soon as this particle is pushed inside the new group, we have this new group filter here, it sends to this node to set velocity direction and the speed. We can do this test inside object in another way, so I'm going to use the raycast hit. The raycast hit casts the ray from this particle into user-defined direction and test if there's anything that's been hit on this direction. As you can see here, this is the test along the Z direction, but I want this test to be along the particle velocity direction. So that means, let's see, this slow particle here approaches this box and when it's within the 5 unit distance, it gets moved to the detected particle group and to the Z direction. Now, I want to test if this particle is inside the box. Let's say the ray going from this particle hits the back side of this uh, box. So, to add here logic node, and we're going to test those two conditions. So, if we hit the the box and we hit it from the back side. So this is the front side of the box and this is the interior sides of the box. So you can see now that this particle is inside the box and when it's five units from the this face here but it hits it from the back side of the face because normal goes outwards the condition is met, both conditions are met, a particle is set to the detected group which then changes velocity and particle goes upwards and this applies to all the particles in this system. So see, node-based approach is very flexible and you can achieve almost anything by combining nodes and connections. For this third and last example we have one particle that is moving above one plane and we're using the raycast test type in a negative z-axis direction and this is our particle and it finds location on the plane with the green dot here and what are we going to do? We're going to spawn particles on the location at the plane and we're going to get retrieve the text map color. So, object test node has the UV map channel set to one, and it retrieves the UV coordinates on this plane for the map channel one, and we pass this information along with the position and hit as enabled to the text map node. Text map node for the text map one uses a map that has explicit map channel set to map channel 1. So we retrieve this text map uh, colors from this node and output the color to the spawn gen node. So in the nodeworks we have the color here set as a particle card to display as a color in the viewport. As you can see particles retrieve the color information from the text map where they are spawned. Now this color for the particle is very useful as we can use it for example for a material as uh, Arnold for the Arnold standard surface through the user data RGB as the FXP color however make sure under the settings set user data export to FXP color otherwise this information will not be 
available within the Arnold shader nodes. Thank you for watching. Those were simple tutorials for the ObjectS node. I hope it helped you to learn something new about the nodeworks and see you soon with more tutorials.